the Stand By Me, it so much epitomizes boys of this age. These are the perfect representation of America, of young Absolutely. boys going through, you know, going through the rite of passage of growing up and, and sharing this this wonderful renewable resource that we have. This piece of property where now it was a lodge, 50 yards across from it was the little 20 by 20 box that 15 of us will all cram into every year in the 60s and the 70s, okay. the hunting camp. Right. And I just sort of supersized it and, and a, a little more deluxe. You, know, you guys will see throughout the video, this lodge is a tremendous lodge. It's absolutely gorgeous. The property's gorgeous. But somehow, you've miraculously been able to hold on to that homey camp atmosphere. And this weekend, you turned into a fishing guide. Uh, absolutely. I was contacted on my Alligator White Tails Facebook saying that you know, we were trying to put together something, and I read a little bit about Matthew Watts and his Hunt of a Lifetime, Stand By Me, and in, in a matter of 30 seconds, I, I, I read it, and I was touched by it. And I replied right away, you know, I'm in. I actually turned you down the first yeah. time, didn't I? But uh, again, the, that drive and tenacity, the spirit and passion of a hunter, forced you to call me back. And it's worked out fabulous. Like I said, I can't thank you enough for getting part of this. I know Matthew is is having a great time here. One of your guides, Tyler, uh, the main guy, these guys bonded. Tyler comes to be, he's a 25 year old man, he's just a great young man. And that mentoring, it goes for my guides, it goes for people, gets it, he, he, he gets right. it. And Matthew absolutely is beyond his years as a hunter. You know, when people talk about gifts and giving, the, the, the group that's here, Matthew, his father, you, the friends, everybody, they're, they're giving us so much. You know, Tyler, Mitch, and I are, are seeing this, and, and we're feeling blessed that we're a part of it. Being a part of that, that hunting spirit and brotherhood is unique but common. It always amazes me that I can go to a new destination anywhere in the world with a whole new group of people that I've never met, and instantly we have a connection because of hunting. These people would give you the shirt right off their back. They'd feed you if you were hungry. Thanks for my corning and the Southern Maine Lobster Company. And give you a bet if you were tired. These complete strangers, but friends through hunting are the salt of the earth, and that bond and connection runs deep. And I saw a picture of, of Matthew and Matthew's face. Yeah. I once heard that you can't ever get to heaven unless you get a hand up. Yeah. I saw his face and I saw his hand reaching down. And yeah. I said, I won't see you again, young man. That's awesome. I, I want to be part of that. We'll be right back with the future hunting.